Hi guys, David Campanile here, owner of Campanile Law, located in the great state of New Jersey. Today we're going to talk a little bit about guardianship and estate planning and how guardianship can tend to be one of the issues uh, that I see a lot of with couples, uh, which delays or completely stalls out a estate plan. As always, if you want to talk estate planning with me, uh, feel free to contact me at njestateattorney.com for a free conversation. So what I see a lot in my firm it are couples that have children, and what happens is when we get in the estate planning process, um, we get into the issue of guardianship, because uh, in your estate plan, in your will, you are going to nominate a guardian for your children. So um, when I'm talking to them, and I say, okay, who do you want to make the guardian of your child? It becomes a big uh, issue uh, because usually the wife wants her, uh, one spouse wants their parents, the other spouse wants their his, his or her parents, and it becomes a brawl because now you're defending your own parents on why they're a better fit. Um, I've even seen it go as far as, well, your parents are divorced, my aren't, so because my parents are still married, the child should go with my parents, and then it's like, well, you're mad at my mom or dad because they're divorced, and um, the the list of arguments goes on and on. Uh, I could sit here for hours going over probably every single argument that comes to play, comes to mind. Um, so how do we cure the, uh So what happens when there isn't a guardian named. Um, so first off, this is the most important decision you're going to make, uh, ensuring that your child is well cared for um, when you are no longer here is, in my eyes, way more important than money, property, anything. This is your child um, that, we care, that you care about tremendously. So if you don't name a guardian, what happens is the court gets involved. And what's going to happen is uh, a petition is going to be made to the court saying, look, um, these children need a guardian. And basically, everybody starts dropping their name in a bucket. Uh, your parents, their parents, grandparents, uh, your best friend, brother, sister, aunt, uncle. And basically, the court gets a list of names. <laughs> will be a court hearing where everybody is going to basically pitch their case to the judge saying why they are the best fit to be the guardian of your child. And then the judge will go back into chambers probably, sit there with the list, think about all the arguments that were made, and make a decision. And the person who the judge is going to pick is probably not the person that you would have picked for yourself. <laughs> So we want to avoid this. You want to avoid this because they could be going to somebody who doesn't have the same religious beliefs, political views, feelings on education, feelings on money matters. Um, and these are things that we all think about and we usually echo, but we – we know who these people are more than the judge does. To the judge, they're a, they're a name on a piece of paper and a face that they just met five minutes ago. To us, they're people that we've known for uh, 20 minute, 20 years, 30 years, whatever. So um, what I recommend when this happens to couples or people is uh, go home. And make a list. What are my political views? What are my athletic views? What are my money views? What are my um, rel religion, religious views, uh, educational views? <laughs> and by that I mean if you're – in let's just take politics for example. Am, am I an independent? Am I a Republican? Am I a Republican? Am I a Democrat? Am I a conservative? Am I a liberal? Am I far left? Am I far right um, in religion? Am I Catholic? Am I Presbyterian? Am I Muslim? Am I Jew uh, Jewish? The list goes on and on. And you go through all of this. How much of a pra how pr much do I practice? Do I want indoctrinate? Like, do I want my child to go to church or 
uh, service every week or just go for high holy days. List goes on and on and on. Now you make that list and you're both doing this at the same time and you're, you're not going to show each other things right away. Now what you're going to do is make a list of every person you think of that you would want to be a guardian. So just go right down. You're each going to have your separate lists. Now I want you to score them. By scoring them, what, I would, what I'm saying is, do they fill all the categories? Do they fill one of the categories? Do they fill four of the categories? And now you're going to have your list. Your spouse is going to have their list. And now you're going to look at the lists and talk about them. And you're going to compare who's on your list. You actually may be surprised that you're going to probably have similar people and score them similarly. Um, and now you've kind of narrowed it down and you can have a discussion amongst the two of you of, is this the right person for us or people? So this is one of the ways, but remember when doing guardianship and estate planning, we can always change this. Um, when there are small or younger ch children involved or a child is involved, I highly recommend highly, highly, highly every year, no more than every two years that you are sitting down having this conversation have our views changed has the person changed and alter this every year every two years it is a very quick fix um, and easy to make on the documentation the other reason the, the other thing we want to do with guardianship that I tend to handle is what I call what's temporary guardianship now temporary guardianship is not that you're giving your child that your child's going to live with someone forever, but it, it it sucks. But let's say you both came down with COVID right now and you were in the hospital for two weeks or a month. Um, who's going to take care of your child? I mean, school needs to go on. They're going to need uh, somebody's got to take care of your children or your child. Somebody has to sign off paperwork, be able to take them to the doctor, sign off to get the documentation done and everything. So basically what a temporary guardianship does is it gives this, you're nominating a person to temporarily take care of your child just like you would while you are in the hospital and recovering. And this is when both of you, you and your spouse are unable to care for your child. So we look at, we look at that. Uh, that's something I work with, but why do we want guardianship plans? Well, one, we don't want a judge to make the decisions. And two, as people that care for our children so much, we want to keep, and in the state of New Jersey, it's called the Division of Child Protection and Permanency. We want to keep them out of our affairs. We, want to, we don't want them to get involved um, and potentially have our child in the, in, the, in the system for a little while. We want to avoid that at all costs. We want to avoid ju the judge. Um, judges' involvement as much as we can because these are really big decisions that need to be made. Uh, I hope that this video was helpful for you. Um, I know this is a hard topic to discuss. Um, if you like this, please hit the like button. If you know someone who's struggling or needs an estate plan made or um, has guardianship questions, uh, share this video with them, uh, tag them in the post. You could have them like Campania Law on Facebook and YouTube. Um, and we uh, just let them know you're thinking about them, that you understand what's going on. As always, I'm David Campanile, located in the great state of New Jersey. If you'd like to talk estate planning with me, you can reach me at njestateattorney.com.